we studied anaplastic thyroid cancer um, in and the possibility of using lumbatinib as an agent. Um, we had seen sometimes that patients had had responses and we really wanted to understand whether or not lumbatinib would be a good option for these patients. So this study was designed with a fairly high bar of trying to find four responses um, out of the patients in the first 20 patients. And unfortunately it did not meet its primary endpoint. So what that tells us is something that we actually were aware of previously, which is that sometimes um, even a single agent such as a VEGF receptor inhibitor is not really enough in anaplastic thyroid cancer. At this point, we have um, no real agents um, approved for all, all comers. There is dibrafenib and trametinib doublet, which is approved for patients with BRAF mutated anaplastic thyroid cancer, but even that doesn't last forever. Um, track fusions, patients who have track fusions in their anaplastic thyroid cancer can also obviously get a larotrectinib, but again, these are very, very short-lived. So um, while lenvatinib can show some responses and um, we've even seen that with serafinib and some other ones. What it really tells us is that single agent, these are very, very short-lived responses. And so we really need to find other agents that we can bring to bear to have a more, um, a more prolonged response because anaplastic thyroid cancer, even with the dibrafenib trametinib story, that only treats the third of patients that have BRAF in, uh, mutations. We still have a long way to go in anaplastic thyroid cancer and we need more research.